Masters, he is older, slightly taller. He has more experience, particularly at a higher level, under his belt. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is semi-final fight number two, scheduled for three three-minute rounds of action with an extra round in play in case of a draw. This fight is brought to you by NZ Boxer. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue quarter. He enters the ring wearing orange trunks with blue and white trim. He has the local scene on lockdown. Now this debutante has made it to the semifinals of the King in the Ring. Representing beyond Muay Thai in Auckland, he now has 10 wins, three losses, with one of his wins coming by way of KO. Introducing Ali Tomalolo. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, enters the ring wearing black trunks with red and white trim. He's a King in the Ring finalist and former MSKA Commonwealth Junior Middleweight Champion, representing elite Thai kickboxing in Auckland. He now has 13 wins, seven losses, two draws, with seven big wins coming by way of KO. Introducing Josh Method Man Marston! Fight us in the center ring, please, for Victoria Nansen's instructions. Welcome to the semis, boys. You know the rules. Keep it clean, keep it manner. Touch gloves. Well, we had an epic semi-final. Asia Ibadi got through over Thomas Muguru. Now, Ale Tomalolo has a big ask in front of him against the heavy-handed Josh Masters. Masters training out of ETK headquarters. Fight already. Tomalolo, beyond gym in the South Auckland. Round one. Masters keen to bridge the gap. Using that skipping entrance. Takes a leg kick early low. Catches Tomalolo on the move with a leg kick of his own. We didn't see that feature much in his first fight. Throwing the jab down to the chest, sliding his head outside the lead hand of Tomalolo, looking to set up the overhand right. Masters stalking. Faking there. Long lead hand from Tomalolo. Probing with the teeth. Lot tighter guard from Tomalolo, Tomalolo this time around. As yet, though, Masters hasn't really bridged the gap, put the acid on. Heavy shots. You can just hear the difference in the weight of the shots of uh, Josh Masters' hangman. Yeah, Tomalolo is starting this very similar to his first fight, and he, he used his footwork very well. It was when he settled down like he is now, and, and standing in front of his opponent that he was getting caught with the right hand of yes and yes. And there we saw some good shots. Heavy body work from Josh Masters. We know he uses that to set up the overhand right or the hooking right hand. Puts a bit of investment downstairs before he goes upstairs. Heavy left hook from Masters. There's an uppercut too there if he chooses to throw it. Counter left hook from Masters, but nice work from Tomalolo from the outside. If he can keep Masters off him, he can rake up points. But if he can't keep him off him, then he might find himself in trouble. Masters using that chair hook well, turning off nicely. Body shot, then going straight to the knee. Yeah, Tom Alolo wants to do that. He wants to stay on the outside and, and implement his kicking game. The last thing he wants to do is get in a boxing fight with Josh Masters. And you see Masters looking for that. Nice piece of skill there from Tomalolo. Catching the kick, changing the angle. Little tie, twist and sweep. A familiar call of Yakuza from Jason Sadi, which means he wants his fighter to come on strong in the final 30 seconds. 
Josh Mast is just caught there being a little bit relaxed on the inside. Heavy right hand there. I think that one went off the shoulder though from Masters. Tomalolo putting a good account of himself in this first round. Masters though finding a home again for the right hand. Starting to wind up and a little. Round one. Well, do you like the power of Masters? Or well, some of the slicker outside skill of Tomalolo. He's resisting the urge to come inside so much, hand man. Yeah, Tomalolo had good work there with the volume you know i feel like he landed a lot more shots when he when he stuck to the body when he threw those those stab kicks down the body to josh masters it kind of killed the the forward pressure masters he wants to get on the inside and he needs to start letting those hands go throw straight away and if you see him hurt you need to walk in with that knee right don't try to set up for a head kick it's going to take you too long right seize the opportunity all right the same now come on, what are we not doing there? Four gas. Look at me. You got more gas. Now shoot your heart. 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 Josh, don't freeze after your combos. I want you moving off. Don't stand in front of them. That's how we got those counters. And where's that flurry and scissor? Show them something different. A good come advice on, from the corner. Round two. Josh Masters just uh, standing there in shot admiring. Tomalolo, that's a very calm corner from... Uh, the boys at beyond. Yeah, that's good instruction to not look for the head kick. The head kick obviously, you know, will set you on your back foot if it, if it gets blocked. Masters starting off like a house on fire. Applying pressure to Tomalolo. Nice straight right hand. Masters had the opportunity to second phase there. He just backed off a little bit. And again, just standing at range, I don't think suits Masters there. He needs to be pretty relentless in his pursuit of putting the pressure on. Nice left hook there. Tomalolo switched to southpaw. Something that worked well for him in this first fight. Nah, Masters not buying into it though. That left hand working well. Masters squared up. Almost threw that from a southpaw position. Good work there from Josh Masters. Tomalolo standing up to it well though. His guard has been a lot tighter. Yeah. Flying knee from Masters. Tomalolo took the sting off it. Masters starting to land with more frequency. A minute 30 gone in the second round of this, the second semi-final. Yeah. Heavy shots now for Masters. Now he's starting to be in home. The guard, though, of Tomalolo very tight. You see Masters blocking that front tee kick from Tomalolo every time. And in the first round, it was that, that tee body kick. shot hit him. Hit him to the body. Now Tomalolo starting to fail. So he's lost Once that Masters tee kick. Go downstairs again. He's lost that ability to keep Masters off him. Now Masters is just pouring it on. Yeah, that range finder, the range keeper of the lead left leg. Masters just overbalancing a little bit. Out, out of range, okay? What? 49 seconds to go. This has been a Masters round so far. Hurt Tumalolo to the body. Let's go. Has Masters run out of gas a little bit though? Has he punched himself out? Is that deep kick again? He's taking a breather there. Good work to the body there from Masters. Tomalolo looking for the counter kick. Masters just slowed his pace a little. That's a good shot to the body. He should go back upstairs with the left hook to the head. Tomalolo's hurt. It's there for Masters. He just needs to find it. Now he's starting Ever to break it down. Two. Big round for Josh Masters there. He found a home for that body shot, and they really just shut down all the offense for Tom Lola. Okay. Well, it was the pressure. He also took away, as you said, he took away that lead leg cheek. Started pairing it with his lead hand. And uh, 
there was that body shot that really hurt him and this one too as well that was right in the floating ribs and i just think he lost a little opportunity there all right second down for the third and final round Let's do it. He's there for the knee. Interesting, Jason Sutty thinks round three, boys. two rounds. So do Let's I, go. but I think that first could go either way. It could be a dangerous assumption with the right? judging. Just dance all right. Touch club, last round, boys. Yes, yeah, so look for Masters Tomo, to add the knee on once he goes to the body. Gets Tomalolo to shell up in the high guard, uh, and then he puts that knee down the middle. Well, there's a nice little kick there from Tomalolo. He created that by using his hands. Using his hands to move Josh Masters' guard around. Yeah, Tom Lulu looks very good when he, when he has a bit of urgency applied to his game. When he gets lulled in and a bit too relaxed, uh, he, he manages to let his opponents back in. Uh, I think an urgent Tom Lulu is a very dangerous Tom Lulu. He's starting to come on a little now. Landed a lovely kick to the rear fight. Josh Masters just starting to waver a little bit under the pressure. Check that inside thigh kick there, Masters. Masters changes angles well, though. When he throws that check hook again, it'd be good to see him come off with a right hand or a right kick. Nice counter left kick there from Masters. Inside thigh kick from Tomalolo. Beautifully timed. The calf kick from Josh Masters. Heavy body kick there. There have been some very good fights tonight. Evenly matched, a lot of skill showing. Plenty of heart, plenty of intestinal fortitude. Body shot there from Masters, takes the counter left hook on the gloves. There's coming upstairs again. Sting has gone out of both these boys' punches now. Yeah, Tom Lalu, um, I mean, Masters has found a home for their liver shot at roughly the same time he did in the last round. Except this time he's coming to the head. I feel like he should either, after he lands that liver shot, come back up to the head, or that's the time for the knee. Just a uh, little agricultural trying to set that up, Masters. He doesn't want to rely on the fact he thinks he's up. Shoves to the Come on, you people, let's make some noise up in here. What do you say? The crowd out of their seats. Josh Masters piling on the pressure. Tomalolo working well. Eats another body shot there from Masters. Educated left hand. Cracks away to the rear leg. And that will do some damage if he gets thrown into the final. Masters fatigued now, so is Tomalolo. Winding up for Masters, throwing with the fences. End of round three! Another epic battle. Josh Masters expended a lot of energy, and I think he took some damage. I expect him to go through Hangman, but uh, I think his mobility might be affected, particularly with those shots to the back leg. Yeah, very close fight. Um, Tom Alolo, you know, it looked like he was fading in that second round, but he came back and had a very good third round. Josh Masters, I really put down on the mouth guard late in that third round. Now, sometimes, uh, regardless of... Uh, you know, what's happened earlier in the round, that can catch the judge's attention. Good performance from Tom Alolo. Fighters to the centre ring, please. Certainly wasn't the favoured fighter. Ladies and gentlemen, can we please have a round of applause for these two fighters? Josh Masters looks confident. After three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision.
where we find a majority draw. We're gonna go one more round. Wow. We're gonna go one more round. Well, this is King in the Ring. This is a sudden death round. Ladies and gentlemen, you want to see one more round? A little bit of a surprise to me, that one. I did expect Masters to go through Hangman, but uh, look, Tomalolo did enough. Yeah, he did enough coming back in that third round, putting it on, picking up the pace. He's just showing, uh, we saw from both boys, just how, how bad they really want this. And uh, this is really a sudden death round. Doesn't matter what has gone before, it literally is who wants it. Mentally, it's a test of your intestinal fortitude. Can you recover? Can you refocus? Round four! Can you get up again? All right, both boys, we're underway, round four. Both boys needing something special. Josh Masters going back downstairs to the body. Tomorolo looking to work from the outside, using those tips that he throws. Josh Masters is uh, mixing a little bit of light and shade. He's not loading up on every shot this time round. Yeah, both fighters starting this, this fourth round very sharp, very fresh. Uh, it's, it's quite surprising. Well, they certainly looked exhausted at the end of the third, but uh, that was nice work from Masters. Just picking his shots well. Is that cheap? Yeah, Masters is doing very well. Not loading up, just sticking to the speed, sticking to it, uh, putting some shots and combinations together. Tomololo, though, he's, looks like he wants to target that body. He thinks he can tire Masters out. Leaping knee there. Masters starting to back up now. Tomalolo coming home. A hurt man is a dangerous man, though. Josh Masters is a guy who can pull it out of nowhere. Again, he's been told to go to the body by his corner. And it looks to be paying dividends for him. Oh, heavy left up there for Masters. Tomalolo going back to the body. Gotta be careful he doesn't get too predictable. Might need to change it up. And certainly work with him has taken some of the steam out of Josh Masters. You can see there that Christmas has gone away from his shots. This comes down to who wants it the most. Who needs this? Who can finish strongly? Who trained better? Who did their extras after training? So One minute left in this extra round. There's a the body shot Keep there from Tomalolo. Masters coming forward to the body again. Everything on the line. 50 seconds to go. That's all on. Josh Masters coming out strong. Huge step from the UCK fighter. 35 seconds to go. Josh Masters now starting to swing for the fences. Tom Alolo too. His chin is holding up against the bigger puncher. 20 seconds. Tom Alolo now starting to look tired himself. Masters coming on strong. It's a gunny but ball. It's a straight fight here at the North Florida Center. I still can't pick it. I think Masters will probably get the go on his handiwork, but uh, you know, this is going to go to judges' preference. I think Masters landed cleaner. Tom Alolo did some very good work early to the body, though, and you have to score that, Hangman. Hey, yeah, I'm leaning towards the strong finish from Masters. He came on with the punches at the end of that round. That was a back and forth round at the start, but I feel like the strong finish from Masters might edge it. Well, we're going back to the scorecards. We have already had a draw at the end of the third round in the semi, second semi-final. Both boys. Fighters to the centre ring, please. Looking very fatigued. You have to say that Asha Ibadi will be very happy to have seen them knock the Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause other. for these two fighters once again. Unbelievable.
After the fourth round, after the fourth extra round, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision where we find a unanimous decision winner. And going on to the finals a little bit later on here tonight, fighting out of the red card!